This question show that 2x minus 1 is a factor for this polynomial. Hence, so solve the polynomial which is equal to 0. So for the first part showing using factor theorem, uh, finding your x value here which is x equals to 1 over 2. Then we have to substitute into our polynomial. So notice that we get an answer or result of 0. So from here, we conclude that we can manage to prove that or to show that this is a factor of our polynomial. So hence, using this concept, we have to solve the equation polynomial equals to 0. When the polynomial equals to 0, so we want to solve it means you want to find out what is your value of x so you if you want to find the value of x you must have in factor form so our polynomial we just notice that this cubic polynomial supposedly to have three factor we only managed to find out the first factor so for the rest of the factor we have to do long division so that we can factorize the completely then only we can find out the x value. So for 2x cubed minus x squared plus 18x minus 9, we're going to divide with the factor 2x minus 1. So multiplier that you need here, 2 divided by 2, 1. x cubed divided by x, you need a multiplier of x squared. Expand, multiply it. So you can notice that here give you 0, here give you 0, 18 minus, you know, still have 18x minus 9. So this division will still continue because this is linear and linear. They still can be divided. So 18 divided by 2, you need a 9. So x divided by x is, is okay. So multiply it is 9. Multiply it. Okay, so no more reminder. It's because this is our factor. Reminder will be 0. So for our polynomial here, we can write uh, this polynomial. One of its factor is 2x minus 1. Divisor here is x plus 1. Solve it equals to 0. So for quadratic part here, we can check with the calculator. Is it we still can factorize? We can do further factorize for this quadratic. You notice that in your calculator, it gives you a complex number of our roots. So it means that this quadratic can't be factorized anymore. So from here, uh, that will be this will be our factor form, the final, the finalized factor form. Then we can proceed to solve, means to find out what's your x. So this will be 2x minus 1 equals to 0, x equals to 1 over 2. From here, x squared will be equal to negative 9. So when you want to uh, simplify your x squared, positive negative 9. So square root this will be, square root negative 9 will be complex number. So this will be ignore for this answer. So finally, when you're solving this, you only can find x equals to 1 over 2.